The man says he was the victim of a racially charged text message from his supervisor. Good evening, I'm Morgan Francis. As South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks reports, the man says the message was the final straw in a series of personal attacks. A 19-year-old security officer received a disturbing text from his supervisor laced with a racial slur. That text ultimately led to the security guard quitting. Now he wants the supervisor fired so this doesn't happen to another employee in the company. DeMonte White used to work for Delta Protection Agency as a security officer. He monitored residential neighborhoods. For Yo, this guy's 19. <laughs> he looked all of 35. Yeah. I 42. Yeah, 19. He monitored residential neighborhoods for the company using his own car. But after White's car experienced mechanical issues, he requested to use a company vehicle while at work until his was fixed. Instead, he was met with an unlikely text response from his supervisor that led him to quit. Hey, kid, you finally quit. I told you I had more power than you. I'm the freaking head poncho in university. Kid, I told you coloreds don't drive Ford Tauruses. So why did you ask about driving a Ford a company vehicle? That made me feel less of a less, less of a person. Oh, the fuck. I wasn't expecting to kind of sound like that, man. No, I did. No, I did. I ain't gonna lie. When I first seen him, I was like, he looked like a whole square. Even if <laughs> even even the shape of his square. So I, I, I I'm not nah, bread. I, nah, he said, he said even the shape of his square. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that, man. I mean, I'm floored by that. He sounded like the um the Justin Pearson, the goddamn Tennessee um lawmaker, man. Look at his mustache. You couldn't tell his mustache. <laughs> the company vehicle. That made me feel less of a less less of a person about driving a Ford the company vehicle. That made me feel less of a What's less of a person, to be honest. White says he notified Human Resources and was told the company owner had more important things to do. But this isn't the first time he had issues with this particular supervisor. White provided Queen City News with text messages showing he reached out to a woman said to be over Human Resources several times with complaints about the same supervisor. With the first incident, nothing occurred. Um, you know, with the second incident, nothing occurred. With this being the third incident, um, you know, it's just very outrageous that you have that you have what you need and you still choose to not do the right thing. White says his last straw was the text exchange. Civil rights activist John C. Barnett is working with White now. And Barnett says he receives about eight to 10 similar cases a month in Charlotte. The pair filed an Equal Employment Opportunity Commission complaint. Mr. White hasn't said anything about compensation. He liked his job. It's Delta Security. But more importantly, he wants the individual fired. I think that would be that would be justice. We were unsuccessful in our attempt to reach the owner of Delta Protection Agency, Richard Epley, for comment. Guys. Wow. Thanks. At this Shakira. point, racial slur is anything that that denigrates any aspect of black culture. Nah, just colored is that's that's all right. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I color. Yeah, ain't no color, right? That's, color? that's a that's a slur, man. You call yeah. color now. <laughs> he, said, he said colors don't drive towards. <laughs> that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. as it's people true. of color. If you're not joking, if you're joking, but like if you're not, if you're serious, you call them the same. Yeah, thing? awesome. Yeah, like yo, you you and and yeah. who says he wasn't joking? It's just taken out of context for the narrative. Mm. I just want to well, Okay, Johnny. Like that, you're right. Know? Okay, Johnny. Right. <laughs> you're right. Okay, Johnny. Come back and tell us how that works out for you. <laughs> um, color struck uh, for I, 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 I've I don't see why not. I've had a tourist back in 2000. Tours yeah. Wagon. I, 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 yeah. Local authorities More, are asking. Crown for Vicks is our thing. After Mount Holly Church was it without increases. its cross for Easter services because of vandalism. <laughs> you can hear the sound of the saw from video captured by a surveillance camera Damn. just after midnight Sunday at Cornerstone Family Worship Center. In the video, you can see someone cutting down the 20 foot cross in front of the church on Rankin Road. 
The Mount Holly Police Department posted this to its Facebook page saying the video is of damage to property and ethnic intimidation. Police hope that you'll help them find the person who cut down the cross and their possible. Who goes out there with a fucking um God That's a reciprocating blade. saw. That yeah, is a sawzall. And fucking cuts down a fucking Who does that, man? Um Who does that? It's, it's fucking crazy, man. Sons. I don't know. I think that's y'all, man. The way that guy was running. Yeah. That guy looked like. Yeah, that, that sound running. like some gliding shit right there. That's some gliding shit. You try to put that on us, Johnny. No, that's not. <laughs> 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 Wait, that wouldn't be enough real time? Nah, they, the, way, the way their Catholicism works, they're not working like that. Yeah, that that is, who does that though? So, I mean, we well, of course, that could be people. religion hating gliders, which is yeah, like not like that, we're, we're, yeah. And we some man, we ain't gonna waste our time with that shit. Like that, what that shit got yeah. to do with us? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just like just like Cameron said, man, that shit got nothing to do with us, man. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah, like we don't, we don't, yeah, we don't, we don't fuck. What the fuck? Who does shit like that? Um. That's um, that's straight up glider. I'm I'm willing to bet one hundred percent that that was a glider, man. Um, <laughs> some of the chat said that's some that's some trans shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that's some weird old shit. Let me let's see let's see if we can figure this out. Caught on camera taking a chainsaw to a cross. A sign of Christ's victory over sin cut down in an instant on Easter Sunday of all days. Now police want to know who targeted a Mount Holly church. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis joins us now from Mount Holly. And that doesn't sound like a chainsaw. Will, shows someone cutting down the church's cross. You know the Most would wonder why someone would do that. Yeah, that's right, Morgan. A lot of people still wondering why they would do that. But you saw that cross get cut down. Let me go ahead and show you. It is standing back up, but there is damage there. As you can see at the top of the cross, there's a board holding it together. And down at the bottom, you see that red ratchet tie around the base where that saw was. But a member says it hurt to see this cross on the ground. But as you can see, the cross is standing. You can hear the reciprocating saw in the surveillance video from Cornerstone Family Worship Church. Someone cutting the 20 foot cross in front of the saw. Mount Holly Church and then pushing it over. As we approached the church, uh, we noticed that the cross was down. My wife actually made a comment thinking that it may have been from the storms, but uh, I told her there's no way we built it out of tuba tins. The video was. Yeah, look at this town, man. This is this. This is glad to do but you can see it didn't stay down. Members left yeah, sunrise stay, service man. and raised the cross up to its original position well, before the 11 o'clock service. They used trucks, ladders, and everything they could. Yeah, some be rude just left it. <laughs> yeah, that like, song would still be right there laying down on the ground, man. <laughs> raised back up within 24 hours. That's glider. Yeah, man. Ooh, different, man. Yeah, son, a son man would have took the joint at least, like sold it somewhere or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, and like real, real shit, like like imagine like a son man being out there with a saw cutting down a cross at night. Like that could make no sense. Like yeah. I, I like I, I swear to God, I never heard nobody ever say let's go cut down a cross or some weird shit. Like that's some weird shit, man. <laughs> right, and not do nothing with it. Just cut it down and push it over and run. <laughs> You know, at most, that's, that's at most they would have uh, thrown accelerant on it and lit it on fire. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, that's some glider shit, man. Making a statement of some shit. Probably hate the church, or probably had a problem with the church and shit. Don't go to church no more. And it's like being a dick and shit. Yeah, man. And on that note, man, I'm out of here. Peace out. All right, peace. Night.